Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 and 5 tutorial. So today's video is going to be a very, very quick one as we're just going to be doing one simple thing, and that's fixing a flickering issue that you may sometimes have with skeletal meshes, especially if they have clothing applied to them. So if I were to just start moving out here, you'll see what I mean. So as I get further away, this one on the left is going to start flickering, and the further away I go, the worse it is going to get, but you can see the one on the right is perfectly fine. The closer I get, the better it will be, but again, the further away, the more it flickers. So this is what we're going over and fixing today. Now, technically, you don't need to do anything, because if I press simulate or press play, it is going to be fine. It isn't flickering anymore. Obviously, the one on the right, I haven't simulated anything on. That's just there to show what it can look like without flickering. So in-game, it will typically be fine, but sometimes it can flicker. But you may not like it in the editor like this especially if you're trying to take screenshots for promotional purposes or it just gets a little bit annoying for you. So I'm going to be going over how to fix this today. So it's very, very simple. If I were to just stay over here so it's flickering, if I select it, obviously it's not going to flicker now to have it selected, but what we can do is search for bounds and then search for scale after that as well. So we have just this one. So we have bounds, scale, and if you were to increase this, it is then going to help with the flickering. So if I set it to two, it's still there, but it's not as bad. If I set it to 3, same thing, not as bad. Let's put it all the way up to 6, and we'll see what this looks like, and it's no longer there anymore. So we just increase the bounce scale until it's going to look better. Again, the further away we get, once again, it will start happening. So you just change this value based upon the size of your map or how far away it is you are going to be from the actor or the mesh itself. Simulate, it all works the exact same. It's just obviously in the editor mode, based upon where you are, it's going to change differently and flicker differently but we can increase this all the way up to 10 and then see that we're going to have this effect here like so. So I think that'll be it for this video as we've done everything we want to do. Like I said, it's a very quick and simple one where we're just fixing this, this simple bug, an issue that you can sometimes have in the editor by simply just modifying the bound scale as you can see here. So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.